day two of our 12 days of rummus and we've got a good one for you. This is all about being strong and true and Floridian. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about Knox and Dunn. Right there. Knox and Dunn. So if you follow the podcast, Drums and Rums, you probably remember this brand, this name. They've been out for a while. You know these guys. This is episode 73 with Chris from Knox and Dunn, which almost was taped almost exactly a whole, a whole year ago. Man, time flies when we're having rum. So anyway, so yeah, so we've got Knox and Dunn here tonight. So good friends of ours also for the podcast. And we're going to go ahead and make the Florida Mule. So it's a little twist on the usual mule that you're familiar with, but we're going to go and do a little bit of it Florida style. So Knox and Dunn, they're aged in bourbon barrels and they're blended with rums that are two, four, five years of age. So it's pretty good it's just straight up. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and make the Florida Mule. So, of course, if it's made here in Florida, we're going to use all of our Florida ingredients. So Florida oranges here, obviously some a little bit of splash of our Florida Indian River Select lemonade. And, well, don't ask me about where this is made. We'll just pretend, we'll just pretend we didn't see that. All right, anyway, so here we go. So what we're going to do is take our cocktail shaker here. Let me reorganize some things and move some things around. All right, so this is going to call for fill your shaker half with ice. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to combine our Knox and Dunn. And this calls for two ounces. All right. And of course, it never hurts just to add a, a little bit more. All right. Next, it's calling for a little splash of our Florida homemade lemonade. All right. Not too much. Again, that's natural Florida lemonade. And it says go ahead and throw in some orange slices in there. And then what we're going to do is get our orange bitters. Forgot about that. We're going to do a little bit of splash of our orange bitters there. All right. And what this is calling for is just to go ahead and shake it up. Shake, them, shake until the oranges are smashed and liquid is chilled. Whew, that was a workout. All right, we've got it all stirred up there. I'm gonna go ahead and strain this into our copper mug. All right. Move that out of the way. Top this off there, where it says shake until orange is smashed. Pour it into the copper mug and top it with okay, our ginger beer. All right, all the bubblies happen. Now, okay, and then this is garnish with a mint. So we'll go ahead and pretty this up. So there is your Florida mule. They're pretty simple to make there. Knocks and done. Cheers. Wow, that's going to be really dangerous. That is very smooth. Everything is, I, I think everything is mixed well. Again, all the ingredients here, your rum, I'm not getting any heavy, heavy, over out, you know, of uh, the rum, which it, I think it blends real well. The oak, again, blending with some little bit of a splash of lemonade, a little splash of our orange bitters. Obviously, we're shaking up our oranges to get a little bit of citrus there. But definitely, I'm not going to get any scurvy if I drink some of this. So again, check this out. Check them out. Episode 73 of the podcast. Learn more about Knox and Dunn. You can find them in the stores here in Florida, Canada. Uh, up in the northeast, uh, around the Michigan area. To go check out the website, you'll find out more. So again, this is the Florida Mule. They got a lot of other cool recipes on their website, so check it out. So cheers to Knox and Dunn. Here you go, the Florida Mule. Cheers.